Hey everybody, how you doing, man? Well, I've been battling like a motherfucker. I'm just coming out so you all can see how fucked up I look and let you know I'm still alive, but fucking struggling like a motherfucker. Uh, went to the fucking hospital today, see my doctor. Uh, go back again. Uh, uh, the 25th. Uh, yeah, what good that's gonna do, huh? I'd love you. Yeah. I know I'll be good by then, won't I? <laughs> Motherfuckers. Uh, uh. Oh, man, last night was terrible, man. I tell you, man, like, fuck it. It's happened to me like two times where I didn't have no fucking air. I mean, I could not get air for nothing. I mean, I had a hell of a time getting any kind of air. And then once I got, seemed like once I got air in me, I couldn't get air out. Couldn't push the shit out. Oh, it's a fucked up fucking, it's a fucked up way to go, boy. Motherfuckers that are dying from fucking, uh, that die from, uh, like drowning and shit. It's like, it's, that's fucking, that's fucking gotta be the worst. It's gotta be the worst not to get air. Because I did it, it's been two times this happened to me. And, uh, man, it's scary, boy. I'll get a little bit of air out. I got this machine, uh, that just supposed to, you know, supposed to take the air from outside and give you better air and, uh, whatever. And I don't have a no, uh, nose piece for it, because I broke it. Because I kept stretching. <laughs> yeah, I used it for smoke some weed out of it one day and <laughs> I turned it into a fucking bong fucking. <laughs> so the hose, I'll just take the hose and just, I'll show you. I'll take the fucking, fucking hose right here. It shoots air out of it. I got a big machine over here that sucks those air out of it. And what I'll do is just pop it in my mouth and just let the air go in while I'm breathing. I'm breathing that air too. <sighs> Boy, it's been rough, man. Fuck. Been a rough motherfucker. <sighs> I gotta do everything real slow. Any exert will fuck me up. Everything's gotta be real, and you know me, it's pretty hard for me to do anything slow. Uh, uh, I have took, uh, I had like three hits this morning, and they weren't even hits. I mean, they are not hits, I can't do hits. Uh, I can't do any kind of hit right now. Uh, I do a little tiny bit. That little bit, that's it. Uh, I'll do that a few times and, and uh, I'll, be, I'll get fucked up and uh, I'll feel better. I'll feel a lot better. Uh, so tomorrow I got tomorrow I go in to have a. Uh, uh, they're gonna run, you know, do a normal checkup on me tomorrow. <clears throat> so then I go again on Friday. No, why did you get one? <laughs> it was good, huh? <laughs> I cut it out. My sounds out. Okay. <sighs> Man, uh, I tell you, uh, I'm done with the smoking shit, man. Smoking cigarettes, I can't smoke them. They're fucking killing me. It's fucking killing me. Fucking cigarettes. Fuck cigarettes. Probably what did all this to me. Cigarettes and weed, you know. Uh. 
And when you when you uh, like see how this see how this smoking here right now, you need to be able to get rid of that smoke. See, you can't blow it out because you get it won't work that way because you got the water. Uh, and you don't want to put it in your lungs because it fucking it's cold and it hurts to put cold smoke in your lungs. It fucks you all up. And nobody wants the cold smoke. Nobody wants the cold smoke in them. Uh, so that's a problem. Just making a vent away to get rid of that smoke and it'll probably be a fucking million dollar fucking thing. Something you can set right on a bomb, psh, release the fucking pressure to all smoke in it. Uh, make one of those fuckers. Fuck, let's see. Sell like a motherfucker. Coming home, but I don't know when we'll get together. We will have a good time then. That's all I want. That's it. That's it. Just a little fucking smoke. So it doesn't do me any damage. I'm sure. I'm sure it's doing something to me, but I don't want to do anything in my lungs. It's no good for you. We ain't improved it yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Infectious cup. It's right to here. That's how much infection is in there. And it's fucking nasty. Somewhere 
beneath the ocean. That's where I want to be, you may be. That's where I'll be, you may be. Wait, I'm scared to death of that motherfucker. What motherfucker? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, no, Pierce. Help us there. Beneath the ocean. That's where I will be.
In the outside pen, a much brighter picture. These sea lions are now eating and working out. They all just go in and they compete for their fish, which is really good because that'll help them in the wild. And soon, it will be time to go home. When it's time for these animals to be released, we have an agreement with the island packers, and they donate their boat time for us, and we literally take them out to the Channel Islands and release them where they were born. And the Channel, Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute is expanding its facility cool. to take in more animals. Take care through weather now and a nice warm, dry, cool. clear afternoon for crews to get out and mow the lawn in front of the state capitol. I'm talking about my husband for a second. Uh, yeah, uh, with all the wind we've seen. Uh, it's nice to see everything looking green again. Our grass is really green and it's overgrown. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of wood mowing this weekend. Yeah, my kid had to do this. My kids are out there picking the dandelions, blowing the dandelions everywhere I can do. Dad just like, oh. Yeah, more popping up. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, things are really going to continue to grow this week. Nice and warm in the days ahead. Warmer than what we're going to feel today. I think we should be in the mid, maybe even some spots upper 70s going into Thursday or Friday. And then we have some changes going in through the weekend. Let's get up what? to Live Cup for 3 and Dave Allen just looking beautiful. That wholesome lake, it looks like a lake. Looking beautiful, and I'm appreciating condo living these days as that grass is growing. Everybody's got grass. You know what I'm not seeing down here in the lake is a lot of beach. I hear they, I understand they, they slowed down the flows out of the dam today. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. They, they kind of made the inflow and outflow pretty even, trying to pretty much hold the level of the lake right now, if I'm understanding it correctly. The peak of the inflows happened earlier this week. It was double what was coming out of the lake. So that just gives you a big perspective of just how much water was around and coming in over the weekend. Dave. Yeah, it looks very kind of muddy out there, too, with all that. Wow. 70 degrees outside. Yeah, a bit hazy. I see that too. 70 in Sacramento. Winds are pretty light at about 6 miles an hour coming out of the northwest. And there's uh, Dave scanning the sky, seeing all that haze. We're at 70 in Stockton. The sun is out. A little hazy, but otherwise just beautiful. Calm conditions currently. In and around Modesto, we're at 71 degrees. The sun is out. Calm conditions in Modesto. And some high thin clouds and sunshine mixing in Fairfield. Uh, wind out of the northeast at nearly 10 miles per hour. And what it's like at Lake Tahoe. Just gorgeous. Another pretty day. 54 degrees with the sun, uh, blue sky, and a light breeze out of the northeast. Thank you, Dave, for those pictures. Wonderful to see and what it looks like from high above. Let's check out the satellite view. I'll show you what's going on in the big picture here. Pretty quiet across all of California. No surprise there looking outside. There is a bigger weather system out here in the central Pacific. It will come closer to us in the days ahead. The first thing it's going to do is stretch a band of clouds over us later on Friday and into Saturday, but that won't bring in the rain. It's after that into Sunday or Monday that we might get that chance of rain in here again and it's looking like maybe it might back up even into sunday night so we'll keep an eye on that mm. valley forecast for tomorrow of course uh. it is st patrick's day mostly sunny skies bright green grass blue sky above it should be a pretty day 74 or so so if you're in yuba city or galt or down towards french camp pretty nice day for tomorrow in the foothills another beautiful day to enjoy from nevada city all the way down through diamond springs and into murphy's all along the 49 corridor mostly sunny to start sunshine should get us into the upper six tomorrow. For the Sierra, it's a beautiful day too in Truckee, uh, South Lake Tahoe, mostly sunny to start. Uh, Sunshine will greet us at 4 p.m. with temperatures in the mid-50s tomorrow. So just a touch warmer than today. Looking at a high of 76 come Friday, so that's uh, maybe when we could even see some upper 70s in a few spots. Saturday, it turns partly cloudy. That's that band of cloud cover moving through, 72. And then there's that chance uh, of rain, maybe Sunday night or into Monday uh, moving in. And still maybe some showers uh, to look at for Tuesday's forecast as well, and it turns cool. Over to you. All right, Ellie, thanks. And next at four, order up through Uber. Uber. The new delivery app launching and where you'll be able to contact Uber for your next meal. And could you one day buy something with a selfie? Oh, don't tell me about this. <laughs> Amazon's latest high-tech idea and how the company says it would help protect shoppers. The News at Four continues right after this.
premieres next Wednesday, 8, 7 central on NBC. Every day is a new beginning at American Furniture Gallery. It's the final days of the Dream Rooms event at American Furniture Galleries with 33% off our entire inventory. There's just a few sale days left, so hurry in and save 33% now. It just keeps getting better at American Furniture Galleries.
then mail, fax, or email the form. <laughs> Call today, 1-800-330-5100, or download an application at californiaphones.org. Would you like the security of a 30-year fixed refi with our lowest payment possible and an interest rate so low our lawyers won't let us say it on TV? Make the cash call at 877-890-CASH and see how much an interest rate starting under 3% will cut your monthly payment while still lowering your loan balance. All with no closing costs. That's right, no closing costs. None. That's 877-890-CASH. 877-890-CASH. Things starting garages. Like the start of your perfect Honda collection with great deals during the Honda Dream Garage sales event, including the all-new Honda Civic, the best-selling car in its class, now has a redesigned exterior. Max Wheels, here to upgrade. Oh yeah, yeah, Too. Oh my goodness. And thanks for staying with us. Here's another look at the top stories that we're following for you this oh. afternoon. Sacramento police are looking into an attempted kidnapping. It happened this morning at 45th and M Streets. Yeah. A witness called 911. She says she saw a man riding in a car get out and then try to pull a 13 year old girl into the vehicle with him. Officers are now looking for two men who they say were uh, driving, drove away in a dark colored car. Two people are now under arrest in connection with an armed robbery at an Elk Grove Walmart last month. At the time, police believed it was an inside job. Now they say they know it was. Officers yeah. arrested Gilbert Smith and Shanita Barnes. Investigators say Barnes was a manager at the store on Elk Grove Boulevard. And the Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies tell us that this is the man who led them on a high-speed chase yesterday. They say 41-year-old Lamont Hampstead. Uh, is the man, a live cop in three, caught the end of this chase on camera as deputies did what's called a pit maneuver. There you see it. They spun him out, and that allowed officers to then make the arrest without anyone being hurt. Every a nation, a major announcement at the White House today. President Obama revealed his nominee for the United States Supreme Court. The president says Chief Judge Merrick Garland of the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals is uniquely qualified to serve on the Supreme Court immediately. But as Brian Moore reports, the nomination sets the stage for what's expected to be a constitutional showdown. Today, President Obama nominated D.C.'s Chief Appeals Court Judge Merrick Garland to fill the vacant seat on the U.S. Supreme Court. To find someone who just about everyone not only respects but genuinely likes, that is rare. Harvard educated male and white, Garland doesn't check diversity boxes, but he's seen as middle of the road, confirmed to his current job with bipartisan support. He's an incredibly well-known figure in Washington legal circles, admired from the left and the right. And that pressures GOP leaders to reconsider their refusal to even hold a hearing. It seems clear that President Obama made this nomination not, not with the intent of seeing the nominee confirmed, but in order to politicize it for purposes of the election. The death last month of conservative justice Antonin Scalia left the high court's balance of power for grabs and Republicans want a Republican president to fill that seat. This president will not fill this vacancy. Garland, a former federal prosecutor who took a leading role in the Oklahoma City bombing investigation, promised to rise above partisanship. People must be confident that a judge's decisions are determined by the law and only the law. But in this election year, even Republicans and Democrats can agree on one thing, everything's political. For Republicans, blocking this nomination is a risky move that could backfire at the ballot box. 
especially uh, if a Democrat makes the White House. Yeah. At the Supreme Court in Washington, Brian Moore, uh, KCRA 3 News. California Senator Barbara Boxer released a statement on the president's nomination of Judge Merrick Garland saying, quote, he is an experienced and widely respected judge with a strong bipartisan record. She went on to say, quote, the president has done his job. Now it's time for Republicans in the Senate to do their job so that a fully functioning Supreme yeah. Court can ensure justice and fairness yeah. for the American people. Uh -huh. Now commitment 2016 in the race for the White House, Republican John Kasich believes he can now be a factor, but Donald Trump is warning that no amount of party maneuvering can deny him the nomination. Steve Handelsman is in Miami with the latest on the races in both parties. I believe more in this than ever. John Kasich went to Pennsylvania, hours after winning Ohio, his home state, beating Donald Trump, who Kasich warned today. And we are fighting for the future of this country, yeah. for the spirit of this country. And yeah. you know, we're not going to get there by bashing one another. And mathematically, Kasich cannot clinch the nomination. Ted Cruz still can. He urged the Ohio governor to quit. The longer Kasich stays in the race, the more it benefits Donald Trump. Neither of those guys can win a general election. So maybe they're spoiling it for the Republican Party. And Despite his strong Tuesday, Trump needs 60% of the rest of the delegates to lock the nomination. And he warns if he's denied it at the convention, there will be riots. After losing all five states last night, Democrat Bernie Sanders is huddling with his aide, but vowing to fight on. Hillary Clinton is planning to shift her fire to Donald Trump, who today hit Clinton on Instagram, making her toughness in a world with ISIS and Vladimir Putin. Trump is vowing to keep what he calls his edge. Trump was complained there are too many debates dropped out of the one scheduled Monday on Fox News and then Kasich dropped out and the debate was canceled. Trump out. Uh, Steve Handels, KCRA 3 News. And taking a closer look now at where the delegate camp stands right now, Donald Trump has won 47% of the delegates awarded so far Ew. for a, a total of 673. Ted Cruz has 411. John Kasich in third place now with 143. You need 1,237, though, to guarantee the nomination. On the Democrat side, Hillary Clinton has 1,606 delegates, nearly twice as many as Bernie Sanders. And an Associated Press analysis finds that Sanders would have to win 66% of all the remaining delegates through June in order to erase Mrs. Clinton's lead. So what's next? Well, Fox News has canceled next Monday's scheduled Republican debate. Mm -hmm. This announcement came after Donald Trump and John Kasich both backed out. The Democrats will debate again sometime next month. And next Tuesday, voters from two different states, Arizona and Utah, will head to the polls for their primaries. To the nation's capital, where the city is dealing with an unprecedented shutdown of the metro subway system as the Transit Authority completes a system-wide electrical check. Case area to sell a kid has the details from Washington. This is all about safety. Metro says it had to take quick action because of a series of electrical problems. What happened on Monday? Safety inspection teams are spending the day checking third rail power cables on 100 miles of underground track. The shutdown has impacted hundreds of thousands of people. There was so much concern about traffic gridlock that the federal government gave workers the option of taking the day off for telecommuting. As extra bus service is being made available, but we still saw gridlock during the morning commute. Now, Metro is expected to resume service tomorrow morning. Critics of the shutdown say Metro has known about this problem for over a year now and should have taken action sooner. They also are not happy that more notice was not given to commuters so that they can make plans uh, in. Reporting from Washington, I'm Sally Kidd. Coming to the nation in Maryland, a man accused of engaging officers in a deadly gun battle outside a police station is now charged with second-degree murder. 22-year-old Michael Ford is charged with 25 counts that also include attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Officer Ja'Kai Colson was killed in the attack when he was hit by another officer's bullet. Ford is being held without bail. In Washington, D.C., the Justice Department is confirming one of the guns found at the hideout of drug lord El Chapo Guzman has been traced back to the botched gun 
gun smuggling operation dubbed Fast and Furious. The ATF operation allowed gun runners to buy weapons from agents in hopes of tracking them and disrupting gun smuggling rings. Authorities say the 50 caliber rifle was found after El Chapo's arrest back in January. An American tourist will serve 15 years of hard labor in a North Korean prison. That was his punishment for trying to steal a propaganda banner from his hotel. 21-year-old Otto Warmbier was convicted in a one-hour trial. He was arrested back in January as he tried to leave the country. In a statement made before his trial, he told reporters he wanted the banner as a trophy for the mother of a friend. Preparing for an historic trip this afternoon, President Obama is holding a meeting with Cuban-American leaders at the White House. The group includes civil society advocates and faith leaders. The White House says increased opportunities for direct engagement with the Cuban people will be discussed at the meeting. And this comes just days ahead of the president's historic trip to Cuba as his administration continues to work toward normalizing ties. Central Coast Congressman Sam Farr is a longtime advocate for normalizing relations with Cuba, and he will be on that trip. Meantime, Q crews in Cuba are getting ready for another historic visit. They're getting the, getting the stage set for the Rolling Stones. The free concert in Havana will be a milestone event in the country where the government once banned the group's music. This is video of the Stones touring Havana earlier this month. The concert is expected to draw half a million people and will be filmed. It'll mark the first open-air concert in Cuba by a British rock band. And this is the picture of the stage now. It's almost ready to go for the Rolling Stones. The band paid for the entire setup and they take the stage next Friday, March 25th. Pretty cool. We'll still have four daring escape caught on camera. How two prison inmates used a helicopter to break free and who was flying the chopper. Plus the crunch effect why you might want to turn down the noise the next time you eat. And looking a little hazy here in our Lake Tahoe sky cam at the south shore looking towards those Sierra peaks but still beautiful. Sunshine ahead for the next couple of days. We'll show you how warm it'll be here and down in the valley. And also look ahead when we make it a little bit of snow back here at Tahoe. And we're taking a live look outside. Here's our Rancho Cordova sky cam. And you can see some very beautiful, clear blue skies out there today. Just a nice, comfortable temperature. We'll be right back. your biggest body problems. Now this is a game changer. We test next level solutions in our fix or fail lab to see what works and what doesn't. Lori Grenier from Shark Tank weighs in. Plus, exhausted? Gluten may be to blame. How to find out next on us. Tomorrow at 3 on KCR 3. Zero means zero at Meta Toyota. With Meta Toyota's Flex Lease, you can lease any new Toyota with zero to its signing. Nothing. Uh. Zip. Zilch. Nada. Like a new 2016 Camry LE, just $236 a month. With nothing to its signing. No tricks, no hassle. Just $236 a month gets you a new 2016 Camry at Meta Toyota with nothing out of your pocket. Keep your money in your pocket with the Flex Lease exclusively at Meta Toyota in the heart of Sacramento, where zero means zero. It's big, really big. Max Furniture's massive super sale. When Vex cuts furniture prices this low, you will save. Vex has the largest selection of sofa sectionals and reclining furniture. Dining sets, bedrooms, and mattresses. Selling near cost, at cost, even way below cost. Whatever it takes. Buying two-piece sectionals, six ninety-seven. Seven-piece dinettes, three seventy-seven. Six-piece cherry Louis Vuitton bedroom sets, four ninety-seven. Then buy it today, get it today, interest-free for five years. Now at Vex Furniture. Cancer really hasn't stopped my life. Having my nurse now uh, here by my side has been uh, such an important uh, part of my treatment. Oh, thank you. Because life is about uh, living. Uh, uh. Current California lessees of competitive vehicles.
vehicles in a low mileage lease on the 2016 Dodge Challenger for $199 a month. The number one choice for news and weather at yeah. 4, KCOA 3 News. <laughs> Yeah. Some pretty amazing video just yeah. released out of Canada shows a pair of prison inmates escaping by helicopter. This happened back in 2013. It looks like a movie, but no, this is real life. The clip shows two inmates at a detention center in Quebec making their escape, dangling by a rope from that chopper. Prosecutors revealed the clip as part of the trial of one of the escapees. Two accomplices hijacked that helicopter and then forced the pilot to fly to the jail where the two inmates were waiting. They clung to that rope while the chopper took off. But they were recaptured just a few hours later. Well, now to live captain yeah. pilot Dave Allen continues yeah. to track the procession along yeah. Interstate 80 for fallen CHP officer. Yeah. Uh, Dave, looks like they have gotten uh, yeah. their way now to uh, uh, Roseville. Yeah. See, there's the transportation for fallen officer Nathan yeah. Taylor. They arrived here at the chapel of the valley in Roseville. Yeah. They got here just a couple of minutes ago, and you can see that his honor guard is waiting there. They'll transport him in there, and then they'll have services. All right, a well-deserved honor as they've made their way now from uh, Auburn to Roseville in honor of Officer Taylor. Thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. In health news now, many women yeah. who quit smoking during their pregnancy eventually start up again. A new yeah. British study shows 43% of yeah. expected moms who smoked before pregnancy went back to the habit within six months after giving birth. Researchers say while it is important that pregnant women don't smoke, there is a need to find better ways of helping new moms stay safe. Cigarette-free smoking during pregnancy costs the U.S. healthcare system about 110 million dollars a year. A new study finds the sounds of eating could affect how much we consume. It's called the crunch effect. At least that's what researchers call it, and it suggests we eat less if we're aware of the chewing and chomping and crunching of our food. So their experiment showed people who listened to loud music ate more snacks than those in silent or quiet environments. Mm -hmm. Experts say the muting of the sounds of eating causes us to be less mindful of what we're putting in our mouths, and that makes it very easy to eat too much. When it comes to emotions, a new survey tracked down the happiest and most stressed out places around the world. Gallup's 2016 Global Emotions Report found that a majority of people in most countries reported smiling or laughing a lot. About a third said they were worried or stressed. Iraqis were most likely to report feeling sad or living in pain. Countries in Latin America scored the highest in positive emotions, with Paraguay, Guatemala, and Honduras at the very top. And 77% of people in the U.S. reported that they are pretty happy. Next at five, we are following that procession oh, for the CHP no, officer. No, no, and Golden Dark no. us from the newsroom with what we're working on. Okay. Five, huh. Hey, you mentioned that he has arrived down at the funeral home, but it's four then just a powerful side watching that pro procession from Rio all the way to Roseville today. People gathering on bridges, showing their support. We talked to fire crews why they felt they had to be out there today. Also coming up later today at 5 o'clock, we're learning more about that attempted kidnapping today in East Sacramento. And KCRE 3 Sharkin Shams will tell us what police are saying about surveillance video of that incident. And you probably know that exercise helps your body, but it also can help your brain as well. There are some mental benefits uh, that go along with working out that may actually help you out in your later years. We'll have that much more coming up at 5. All right, Charleston, thank you. Next at four, do you leave your children home alone? We will go live to the buzz room. We'll tell you about the controversy surrounding how old is old enough for kids to stay alone. Plus, Easter spending on the rise and higher than ever. How much more Americans are expected to shell out this year? When you want the design of your new fireplace to be the main feature, the focal point, the centerpiece, visit Silverado Masonry Design Center in Sacramento with quality building materials and friendly staff to help you. Silverado Masonry Design Center, your destination for inspiration. Well, that's Kennedy Internet. Now we have the speed, so we're from home. Xfinity delivers America's fastest internet, according to speedtest.net. With Xfinity TV, we can watch this or this. X1 will change the way you experience TV. Call 1-800-341-8080 and get started with Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice for only $33 each a month for 12 months when you bundle all three. With X1 GDR service, you can watch and record up to six shows at the same time. Call 1-800-341-8080. 
and switch to Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice for $33 each a month for 12 months when you bundle all three. And add X1 DVR service for just $10 more a month for 12 months. It's all backed by our 30-day money-back Comcast customer guarantee. So it's risk-free. Switching to Xfinity is easier than ever. Switch today, because you can. Call 1-800-341-8080. I've just picked this up two breakfast croissants for four bucks with this bear attack. With one swipe, it devoured one of the croissants. Then Jack showed up and took care of the beast so I could escape. And that's what happened to your breakfast croissant. And yours? That survived. Enjoy freshly cracked egg with ham and bacon or sausage. Two tasty croissants at an even tastier $4 price. It's a deal you'll devour. Gonna love the deals during the Subaru Love Spring event at Mena Subaru Sacramento. Like a new 2016 and Trenza 2 by OI, just an empty 650. Or lease for $139 a month for 36 months. You choose. You save at Mena Subaru Sacramento. New 2016 Impreza, just 19650. Or lease for $139 a month. And your first year's maintenance is always included. The Mena Subaru exclusive. Visit MenaSubaru.com. Pick, click, and save on over 150 new Subarus. Mena Subaru Sacramento. When you want the design of your remodeled home to be updated, custom, and beautiful, visit Silverado Masonry Design Center in Sacramento with quality building materials and friendly professionals to help you. Silverado Masonry Design Center, your destination for inspiration. Hi, Keith, sorry, through weather now, and uh, boy, just another one of those really nice, pleasant, get outside and enjoy it kind of days. Enjoy that extra hour of light, right? <laughs> I think mean, about a, a later sunset. That's right, about 7.15 or so, our sunrise is at 7.15 in the morning. Beautiful day to get out there, and Dave Allen's got those great pictures from Livecopter, and he's spotting some folks on the golf course today in Roseville at Sierra View. And getting out there for a tea time after lunch, wrapping up before dinner time, not a bad way to spend an afternoon like this for sure. Yeah, everything looks nice and green out there. 70 in Sacramento currently. We're at 70 in Stockton. Modesto is at 71 degrees. It's the kind of weather you could wear the short sleeves. Some folks might actually try to wear the shorts, but uh, temperatures around room temperature seems pretty comfortable to me. 71 again in Modesto. 54 the current temperature at Lake Tahoe. As Dave pans off in the view there, just a little haze over the valley. More so I think today than yesterday, but a lot of blue sky to be seen as well. Looking at our pictures coming into KCRA.com, I saw this one. I just loved it. Those poppies just covering the hillsides here in Sonora. Just a pretty view. Boy, the foothills also in all the, that spring glory with that bright blue sky and the green grass and the poppies just coming alive. So really nice pictures coming in of all the spring-like scenery we're seeing across Northern California and just how green it is. Checking out the temperatures this week. Yeah, we're going to warm up mid, maybe even upper 70s for some spots on Friday. I think Sacramento will be in the mid-70s tomorrow, 76 on Friday. The average is 67, but check out where the records are in mid-March, all the way into the mid-80s. Our record tomorrow for uh, St. Patrick's Day, 86 degrees. That's how warm it can get here in terms of records for this time of year. Future cast shows ridge of high pressure over us the next couple of days. Keeps us dry, keeps us warm. Saturday, I think we'll have a lot more clouds, those high thin clouds starting to move in. So if I filter the sunshine, but boy, out of the ball fields on Saturday, very pleasant. Temperature still around 70. The chance of rain increases maybe Sunday night or into Monday. Doesn't look like a big system right now, but just enough to put rain in the forecast going into Monday, and possibly Tuesday as well. And that's our next chance of snow, too. Look how mild it's going to be up at Tahoe going into the weekend. Upper 50s, maybe near 60, but a bigger change Monday, Tuesday could bring in that snow once again with maybe, again, some travel issues, at least some chain restrictions possible. We're at 56 tomorrow with Truckee, a lot of sunshine, 61 in Arnold, a good-looking day tomorrow in and around the Sierra, 68 in Auburn, 62 in Grass Valley, we'll be in the mid-60s in Jackson tomorrow afternoon. Sunny skies, even over towards the Bay Area, we're in the low 70s in Fairfield and Antioch tomorrow, Discovery Bay as well, a high of 73 in Tracy and Turlock, 73 or so in Stockton, up towards Gulf and Elk Grove. Uh, you'll be looking good in the low 70s as well. Just a light north breeze. 73 tomorrow in Woodland, 73 as well in Folsom. Friday just maybe a touch warmer. High that high thin clouds and sunshine in the high 76. We're partly cloudy on Saturday with a high 72. Sunday cool some with more clouds filling in. And again, Sunday night into Monday, that chance of some rain is there. Same thing on Tuesday, maybe some showers left behind. Back to you.
All right, thank you. Turning to the case here three at Buzzroom now, Rhode Island lawmakers are considering a bill that would punish some parenting decisions. It includes leaving a child under seven years old alone in a car, leaving kids under the age of 10 from being home alone, and some preschoolers from going outside for recess in freezing weather. So some parents are upset that the government is trying to legislate parenting and what they call common sense. So Kelly DeMarco is in the Buzzroom with the reaction to the home alone bill, as they're calling it. That's right, Brian and Lisa. Certainly getting a lot of attention in here, a lot of parents in here weighing in, but you know, there are 19 states that have laws against leaving children alone in cars, but this regulation in Rhode Island, this new regulation, this new bill, is getting a lot of attention. Some people saying it's kind of taking that to a whole new level, as you can imagine. Other parents who may be watching are sounding off too, so I want you to see the uh, poll that we put up on our Facebook page today. The question we posted to you was, should lawmakers outline at what age parents can leave their children at home alone? 75 percent of you said no and here's some of the responses just to kind of talk more about that we heard from Rita today she says these days staying at home or walking to school alone depends on not only the age of the child but safety of the neighborhood also we heard from Andrea she says I think it depends on every child my 11 year old is the oldest but my 10 year old is much more mature sometimes that happens as a parent you know what age is appropriate for each individual child and then the last one here we heard from Brandon today Brandon says I began staying home alone in the fifth grade I also walked all the way home from school. Perhaps things would have been different had I lived in a different area. Times have certainly changed, right? Brian and Lisa, we hear our parents' stories about walking miles back and forth to school, but times have certainly changed. So we want to hear from you. Jump on our KCRA3 Facebook page and tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. I saw Brian when I was eight years old. I walked right, right where that attempted kidnapping is every right. day well, why, why for about seven years with my younger sister. Mm -hmm. So yes, times have definitely changed. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Next yes, we will go by Easter. Bye. Just around the corner. Why Americans may be sending more money, more money than ever on pizza and chocolate bunnies this year. That's what I want. Honda believes in helping you use your garage to its fullest potential. That's why we're offering great deals on the things you'll want in your garage, like the Honda CRV. The best selling SUV in America comes with a standard multi angle rear view camera and plenty of cargo space. Great for transporting lots of stuff, say to storage or a dump. Hurry to the Honda Dream Garage sales event. You've got a garage to fill. The most durable, longest lasting brand in its class has great deals. Now in your Honda dealer. What are we doing up here? I can't believe what you got me into. We're doing a catering job, Mr. Dickey. We do what we gotta do. Oh, I feel it. When it comes to Dickey's catering, we're doing a catering job.